Hey folks, Ajish here. Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing good. So today I'm making a small video on Ajish Mobs add-on. I just pushed out a new build for it, and I think it'll be out by now on MCPDL. If not, it'll be out by a day or so. But if it is, I will leave a link in the description, and you can check it out. But anyway, I'm just gonna showcase some of the new features and also refresh you on some of the older ones. So yeah, let's check it out. There are a few other new things that are coming in. So we have a few new items, we have an all new armor set and some new blocks and 24 mobs I think. I'm not so sure, maybe let's check it out. And 9, 18, 20, 20, 20, 24, yeah. 24 new mobs so yeah let's start by taking a few of these spawn eggs and checking out a few of them okay so the first one we have is the ostrich so ostrich is an old mob on the last beta version 2 i think we have it so these guys spawn in savannas they are most mostly they are non-aggressive they are they're a neutral mob so if you hit them they will attack you and if they have a baby near them, they will also attack you. And also, you can use a beetroot to breed them. And they will lay in one single egg after that. So, get off, get off the egg, you wanna break it. So, this guy is gonna, you can mine them and take them as an item. Or you can just leave it there and it will hatch into an ostrich baby. And just like normal eggs, if you stand on top and jump on them, they will break. So, boom, there you go. And the next mob we have is the new one. So this one is a crab. So this guy is born in beaches. They are, they are of course like a food source too because they drop raw crab. And also they come in two variants like the hermit one and the normal ones over here so the hermit one is a little more hardy so you need to hit few more times to kill it and it will drop a rock crab and a nautilus shell and also if you can if you have a nautilus on your hand the normal ones will follow you like you can't breathe them or anything but they will follow you and you can maybe carry them somewhere else other than that you can interact with them with the nautilus and that will turn them into a hermit crab and also, if you're on survival, this will use up the uh, Nautilus, so yeah, you need to kill it to get it back. But on that, that's the crab, a pretty little small little creature you can find in the beaches. The next one we have is also a new mob. This is a fish called the sunfish. So these guys spawn in the deep oceans, they, they come in like few variants and this is the common one. So this guy let me spawn a few more here and let me move over here. So so these guys are the common variants. The white one with the cyan and white spot. They're a little bit rare in oceans, but I mean in deep oceans, but you can find them. So yeah, let me see if I can get a few oh there's one more variant. So this is another variant. No, I think I have one more. I think there's also a white one. And there's also scaling, so you guys can find. Oh, there you go. You guys can also also find like smaller ones, like this. There's a bigger one, medium, and a like a baby one. Oh, there you go. There's another one. That's the last one, the white one. So that's a bit more rare, like than the others. So yeah, this is the sunfish. The next one we have is the sparrow. I think this one was already in the original one and this time they actually don't slow up your world the last one used to like literally break some of the worlds in mobile but i have removed the breeding so you can't breed them anymore but you can like tempt them with seeds and also if you have a wheat field you need to be worried because these guys spawn in plains and most people usually make their bases in plains or in plain villages if they see like wheat they will come and just 
like eat them like right you know like rabbits raiding the cat gardens just like that these guys will raid the wheat gardens so yeah okay so the next one we have is the og one the very first mob in rg's mouse which is the bison so these guys did get an update so i have changed their texture and their model to be more like a bison they used to look like a minecraft cow with like a hump on the back now they're more like a they look more like a bison and i made a separate video for these guys if you guys want to check it out i say more in depth on how these things work other than that let's just check a small little thing so these guys are like sheep you can shear them and they will drop brown wool you can kill them to get the uh, leather and beef but on that these guys come with a new block called bale of grass that you can craft with uh, nine tall grass and th this one you, you need to use to raid these guys now then you can use wheat oh it's night okay so we were talking about bale of grass so this is bale of grass so they're like hay bales you can place them they are rotatable you can use them as a building block if you want but this is mainly for feeding these guys so you can feed them and they will poop out a baby here we go oh and we are i also have a new variant for the bison called the albino one and there's like a three in hundred 1200 chance to get them and you can breed them if you want and with the normal one there's a 50 chance the baby could be a normal or bison but if the both of the parents are you know albino the baby is gonna be an albino 100 percent other than that you can share these guys too and they will drop white wool just like over here there you go this one drop white wool the other one drop brown the next mob we have is the cuttlefish cuttlefish uh, i think they were in the around for a while now and these guys i added a new ability to them so these are like a small skewed species if you didn't know and they come in four variants and they only spawn in like warm oceans and such coral reefs and if you guys like attack them like hit them they will give you blindness and you can bucket them and now i have i have updated the bucket because now you can capture all the variant and it will actually spawn the exact variant it doesn't change it the next one we have is the scorpion there's not that many update to the scorpion it's exactly the same as what it was on the last update so this guy spawned in the desert at night and they have two variants there's a large and a smaller one this is basically the spider uh, with a bit, bit more harder hitting the next one we have is the brown bear so the brown bear actually got a model update and also i had i think i added a few more behaviors like and also animations to that but these are the one place they're actually hostile they spawn in mega tigers and they have pretty cute little cubs next one we have is a brand new mob so these are kakapos they spawn in dark oak forest and these are like a flightless birds from new zealand so yeah these are the kakapos they currently don't do that much other than just being ambient mobs the next one we have the butterflies butterflies actually got an update so this guy is now coming six or seven variants i forgot how many variants there is but they do come in multiple colors they also got a model update and you can breed them with flowers like any flowers one tall flowers would be enough if i can find one more i can breed them so come here and there you go and they will breed in the sky and they will drop a caterpillar so we have another new mob called caterpillar and these guys you can feed them flowers to grow them up oh and butterflies are found in flower forest or oh, any doubt yeah and these are the butterflies and they do have a new item drop but i will get to that in a bit and 
me if I can go over here I will show you how to get the item so to get the item you need this mob so we have another brand new mob to the pack are the geckos so the geckos will if you if a gecko kills a butterfly it will drop there you go it will drop the butterfly scale so you can use the butterfly scales to make custom blocks and the butterfly armor yeah these guys are like the frogs so they will whip up the tongue and just capture them and they will drop the scales and geckos can be found in forest if anybody wants now the next one we have is our old favorite the red pandas so red pandas got an update on their models they are more cuter than the last one and the colors are a bit more brighter yeah and these guys come in like four variants and the albino one actually doesn't spawn in the wild anymore you need to breed them the same as the bison is like three in 1200 chance i think i almost forgot how much is that but anyway these are the new red pandas i mean not the new pandas the new model of the red pandas the next one we have is the zebras zebras actually only got one update that is their animations the animation used to be not the same as the horses no they are the same as the horses and donkeys so now yeah that's the only update these guys have there's nothing much these guys also have another update that is the albino version doesn't spawn in the wild anymore you need to breed them to get and if you guys want to know yes these guys are rideable you can use a what do you call it a saddle to ride them and i'm inside it so my model is the, like the smaller version if you in the cat equation so that's why and you can use a chest you can interact with, interact with the chest to give them a chest and actually this is a good move for earlier earlier and mid game because these guys got a lot on inventory if you give them a chest like if i can hey stay if you can get on and open up the inventory so these guys have a lot more inventory than the horses i mean what do you say the donkeys and we have the hippos uh i think bear 3 had the hippos but now these guys attack they have attacking animation and they don't slow the world <laughs> like the last update and these guys are inside the water where are those guys are inside the water the hippos are supposed to be in the water oh, and there you go there's a baby and these guys do live inside water like normally and these guys are spawn in what do you say swamps yeah this guy spawn in swamps the next one we have is the kiwi so kiwi is a small little ambient mob spawn in the dark of forest just like the kakapoo and currently these guys don't have any use but i have a great idea for them so probably in the next update or maybe join the discord there will be a beta for that too so these guys are the kiwis and they don't do anything next one we have is the picnic hippos so these are like a cuter version of the hippos unlike the normal hippos these guys don't attack the player the other ones attack the player these guys spawn in uh, forest so if there's any water near it water in the forest these guys will spawn and these guys do swim in water they float they do all those things so yeah those are the picnic hippos the next thing we have is the caterpillar and i just showed these guys in a bit so these guys are the caterpillars <laughs> next one we have is our old shark so these guys only spawn in deeper oceans now they don't spawn like crazy like on the last build because they were actually causing lag because they're over spawning and killing every single thing they see so these guys only spawn like, spawn like one or two in an area right now and we have is the spotted hyenas so these guys i don't think they have an uh, like a major update i only removed the diamond that they had in their mouth when they spawned in the world so i removed that from the loot table so that's the only thing that happened to these guys and we have the crocodile so these are the new one new mobs that are coming so crocodiles spawn in the swamp don't go near them they will kill you 
and they will like to swim and also you can breed them with fish so if you can get near them without getting killed they will breed and lay maybe one to four eggs but it's great to see them laying more than one egg in this add-on i probably need to increase the chances but they will lay one egg in sand so you need to be near sand for them to lay an egg so there you go get out so these guys lay uh, one egg but and you can also mine them and you will get the egg as an item and you can replace them and they will make like a cluster of eggs and you can place them one by one too so yeah this is the crocodile egg and you can stand on top and they will break the next one is the jellyfish so the jellyfish got a model update so this guys now currently have a new model and new animations too with that and also these guys don't follow you and attack now these guys only attack you if you're like near them they will passively attack other than that these guys are pretty neutral and also these guys can be bucketed so that's another thing you can prank your friends too and also you can see them from above because they are luminance so yeah that's one thing and also the bucket is you can there's two variants there's a smaller one and a big one oh there you go talking the smaller ones so you can save the data of them but the names don't get saved so that's one thing oh and the smaller ones don't poison you they actually give you blindness if you go near them oh, that was a bigger one so here you go these guys give you blindness so this is the jellyfish oh and also killing these guys these guys will drop a new item called jelly sludge and you can collect them and this can be made into a block and also help you make another new block the next one we have is the duck so ducks didn't get a brand new update or anything now they just spawn the last time they weren't spawning so this time they spawn and also they have a chance to get more babies and the next we have is the capybaras they were on the last update so this time they get in the water and don't slow the world so that's uh capybaras and we have brand new another mob which is the moblum i actually made a separate video for these guys so if you guys want to check it out there are more things to these guys so yeah i recommend you checking that out but uh another thing is like if you can get a flower and feed them they will actually change the variant so you can change these guys into all the one tall flower variants if you guys can want to okay so now let's come back to the capybaras because the capybaras have a uh, like capybaras can be ridden so if you can interact them with a saddle they will get a saddle and you can use a carrot on a stick to ride them like a strider on lava these guys can be ridden on water and also you can boost them like striders and pigs and these guys in water go really fast so this is a great water mount but on land the boost doesn't give you any speed but on water they go zoom so yeah these are the capybaras pretty cool okay so now let's move on to some of the items so we have raw ducks so i forgot to tell you that ducks drop raw ducks when you kill them and also crabs drop raw crab then we have the duck eggs so these guys drop like like chickens you know randomly they drop an egg then we have the items for the ostrich and croc eggs okay. and let's just start checking out the raw items so we have the raw duck which you can use like cook them to get uh, cooked duck just like chickens so you can use the um, burners or a smoker or on a campfire so i'm just going to show you all of those things pretty fast so you can cook the raw crab to get uh, cooked crab claw i think yeah cook the crab claw yeah now i want to show you on the furnace the furnace slower smoker faster just like normal minecraft food items 
this case also can be put with inside here just to show you and also on, oh i will back with too. also on campfires so we are the camp and just like normal food items you can also cook this inside the campfire so yeah there you go the crab is on it and also the raw duck the next thing we have is the pink daisy which is an item and a flower flower block so these guys can be gotten from a hidden a moon bloom so check out the moon bloom video you to see how you get this so these guys are like normal control flowers you can use let me get all of these out of my inventory so you can use like what you call it born meal to so yeah here you go you can use born meal to um make them spread like normal flowers and yeah they're just pretty cool daisies with a pink color and you can also make them into pink dye so you can put in the crafting ring that will give you pink dye the next thing we have is the butterfly scales so butterfly scales can be crafted into butterfly blocks and also the sludge can be crafted into sludge blocks and the butterfly scales can be crafted into armor i'm probably going to change the armor to something else I mean not armor to something that recipe to getting into in another way but this is the current recipe just like normal armor then also you can use the duck egg to make cake you can't make cake out of hostage and the crock eggs so that's something but anyway these are all the item recipes so now let's check out some of the blocks i think oh and also you can throw the duck eggs just like the chicken eggs and they will drop a baby and also hurt people oh i've almost forgot that we have two easter egg in the game so if you name a name then donald and rename a duck with it so where's the duck there were few somewhere over here oh, there is there are a few over here so if you rename a duck with a name tag named donald it will turn into the donald duck from the disney mickey mouse cartoon that used to have in the back in the day i don't know if they have the cartoons right now yeah so you can make them into donald duck and also if you rename a name tag into techno and i was small tribute for the techno blade inside here so you can if i can spawn some pigs over here you can rename a pig to techno and that will also give you a pig with a crown so yeah that's the two easter egg currently in the game i'm probably going to add more but these are the kind of two things we have also the uh, the more bloom that gives the pink daisies so there's three we have other blocks so with the jellyfish sludge you can also make a new like a variety of block called paper blocks so you can make a normal one and also the dyed versions of them so yeah so the first block we had i shown shown you was the a bale of grass so these are the that i just shown you a little while ago the next thing we have is the butterfly scale blocks so this can be a good like roof block you know they have like shingles on them so that's a good little building block they don't have any uses the next one we have is the sludge block and it's just a transparent block there's nothing much to it i probably going to make something else out of it but currently this is a sludge block it's a transparent block that's it there's not then many use for it and then a building block and Yeah, I probably make it maybe we can make it into bricks or something. Let me think about that. But yeah, we currently have it in this state. The next thing is the paper blocks. So paper blocks comes in all 16 colors. And uh, you can craft them with sludge and paper. And also use dyes to make them in that dye color. My god, what's 
but yeah these are the pip blocks and they can be a good like a texture variant between wool and uh, concrete and next thing we have is the butterfly armor so these guys come in between iron armor and diamond armor these are like a link between them so these are stronger than an iron but not as strong as a diamond and their durability is a little bit lower than uh, a little bit higher than iron so yeah and also these guys have an animated wing on the back so when you run they move faster when you stand they just like flutter like little bit like fluttering there and also we have like custom particles if you can see them there are small little orange particles up in there so yeah we are the so this is the butterfly armor pretty cool i guess so yeah guys so that's the new arches mobs update so there will be a link in the description if the, if the add-on is out go check out mcpdl but before i go i just want to show you the croc eggs and the hostage egg hatching so enjoy that and i'll see you in the next one